got to Royal Ascot will take a back seat this weekend as meetings at both York and Sandown provide race lovers with plenty of competitive action. And Paul's gone through the, both cards and has always come up with some selections for the viewers. And we'll start at York with, and you fancy Midnight, Midnight Martini, excuse me, in the Reg Griffin Memorial Trophy. That's too many martinis for you for a start, Lewis. <laughs> no, you're too quick for me. You oh, are. well, that's not hard. Um, yeah, I mean, look at the name East of it. It's been appearing on alongside winners at York for over 50 mm. years. I mean, first name was Peter. Uh, he was a major force in Northern racing. Now his son, Tim, who took over when Peter retired in 96, he's doing just the same. In fact, he's won this race twice in the last seven years. And yeah, I think he can win it again with Midnight Martini. Mm -hmm. uh, Philly's run twice at York. Uh, she won the St. Ledger Yearling Stakes over course and distance last August. And then she did nothing really very wrong when she finished one and a quarter length second to Rose Blossom in a conditions race there last month. For that matter, Rose Blossom did the form little damage when she ran a close second and listed race at Haydock two weeks ago. And I just think Midnight Martini looks well weighted from a handicap mark of just 95. And just to keep the family theme going, don't forget, Easterby's uncle Mick, spitting Mick to everybody else, uh, provides an interesting contender in Hoofit, who's been doing just that, hoofing it up the handicap mark for the last, I don't know, six weeks. Terrible, with that, three, terrible that one. With three terrible. wins on the trot. <laughs> However, the handicapper hasn't been asleep. He's been noticing, and I think a rise of £28 may stop Hoofit pretty much in his tracks. OK, uh, so Midnight Martini there, good case put forward by Paul there. Uh, any other runners on the card taking your fancy? Well, one of the other big races, Ladbox.com handicap, another one of these impenetrable jobs, mm. but I've had a bit of a dig down and I've come up with Opus Maximus. Uh, for my money, he's a typical Mark Johnston type, tough as they come. I really do love these horses. They are as mm. honest as the days long. Uh, took a bit of time to run into form this season, but I liked his win at Foss Lass. And I just think he, he could be the one now to go and run up, not necessarily a sequence, but certainly go on yeah. and double up next time. OK. Uh, then we move on to the card at Sandown and to the totesport.com scurry stakes. Who do you fancy there? Uh, to me, I think this looks tailor-made for Duchess Dora. She's suited by these stiff five furlong tracks. She mm. won at Sandown, I think it was in April, and she's also won at Beverly last season. Now, she didn't really act round Chester two runs ago, and she didn't quite get the run of the race at York um, in her last run, which was mm. four weeks ago. She had time to come back from that. Yeah, bang on for this. Okay. And then we move on to the finally, the tote sport handicap. And you think Bull Whip's a good thing here? Well, yeah, I think he'd yeah. win. I don't know about a good thing. Yeah. Um, he won his maiden at Doncaster in March by seven lengths. And the John Gosson Yard were clearly well impressed mm. with that because next time out they ran him in the Greenham Stakes, which was a massive step up in class and was a bit too much. He was never really competitive there. But if you look at his next run in a handicap at Chester, I think the actual bare results are a bit misleading. OK, he finished only six, but that was a race where it was crucial to be up with the pace throughout. He was out the back, couldn't quite handle the track, but he came through very well at the end. Yeah. Ran on well, and I know he's too harshly treated because he's been dropped two pounds for that. Could be useful right now. So there's Paul's selections for the weekend, and stay tuned here at better.com, where Paul will be back next week to preview all the big races from Royal Ascot.